hey guys welcome to my channel so guys in this video we are going to start with the laravel tutorial okay and now guys in this video we are going to see how to get started with laravel and what are the requirements to start with the laravel okay so now guys let's get started so first up guys you just need to go to your apachefriends.org and this is basically a server guys which is a local server for php okay so if you are a windows user you can just click download if you are linux you can go with the linux and if you are a mac user then you can go ahead with the mac okay so guys once you're downloaded and just click next 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 and installation is done so the after successful installation you'll be seeing something like this a zamp okay so if you don't find you just need to search for exam so you'll find that and just run that and then start this apache and mysql then you can access the admin dashboard so once you click on this admin button it will open you a php admin dashboard okay so let me just show you the preview so this is the php my admin which is the dashboard of it and here i am using php version 8.2.4 guys okay so i have downloaded the latest version of the php server so now guys once it's downloaded and all the setup is done then you are going to download your composer okay so just go to getcomposer.org and either click on getting started or directly you can download it okay so let's click on download here and here is a download file so download and run this composer setup.exe file so just click here it will download and again the window process like keep next 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 and installation will be done so guys now once it's downloaded you can just check in your command prompt so just start cmd command prompt and here is a command prompt started and then now you can just type composer uh, hyphen v so let's tell here composer hyphen v so which gives the composer version and all the list so let me scroll top and here you see guys that composer version 2.5.5 right now it is okay and this is your composer so guys we have successfully installed with the composer done and now guys let us uh, install our laravel application so now guys let's explore our folders so just if you have installed your exam then you can go to your c drive which you'll find the exam folder over there just go inside that and you'll find the htdocs folder and inside that you can start with your creating your applications so guys what i am doing i have created one fund of web it folder inside htdocs you can see the path here okay and inside this i want to start my laravel application let's right click and open the terminal okay so open in terminal directly so let's click it and here is a terminal open perfect so guys now let us get started with creating our laravel application so you can go to the laravel documentation so right now we are on the laravel 10 version that is the latest version and here is the installation process okay and here guys your first laravel project so let's click on it and here you see a command which is using composer and creating the laravel application so let us just click to copy and go back to your terminal right click and paste it so now guys i want to name this application as blog app okay so hit enter so it started with the creating laravel so guys let's wait for the complete installation perfect so guys our laravel application installation is successfully done so now guys uh, you can get back to your folder and see you will find a folder that blog app we have created and this is our application okay so now guys get back to your terminal and just change the cd change drive and go to blog hyphen app hit enter so it just changed the directory and now guys let us serve this application php artisan so hit enter your servers is running on this localhost 8000 so guys now let us go to the browser and just type localhost 8000 perfect so guys we have successfully seen how to install and run this laravel application and also we have seen what are the requirements to run the laravel okay so guys in this video that's it let's continue in the next video about how to 
create a authentication in Laravel 10. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.